Greetings everyone. So today I want to talk about some of the features that's going to be available in Windows 11 that you're not going to see in Windows 10. Okay, so in the last video, I covered some features of Windows 11 that you're going to gain and some of the features that will be removed. In this video, I want to show you the comparison between the 10 and 11 so you can decide if you want to make that upgrade. So one of the features that I talk about in Windows 11 that's not going to be in Windows 10 is called Auto HDR. With Auto HDR, it can produce a wider, more vivid range of colors for truly captive visual experience. So you will be gaining that in Windows 11, something that you can't do in Windows 10. Now Windows Teams is already in Windows 10. So you can use it in Windows 10. That feature will be carried over to Windows 11. So if you already use the feature, you already know that you can call and chat and make plans and just conduct a meeting if you need to. Now one of the features that's not available in Windows 10 that you're going to gain in Windows 11 is chat for Teams. Now with chat for teams, you'll be able to reach anyone for free, however you prefer. So you can call, chat, text, or video right from your taskbar. Another feature that you're going to gain in Windows 11 that won't be in Windows 10 is called desktop groups. Now with desktop groups, you can switch between desktops for greater organization of open windows. Another feature that I mentioned in Windows 11 is called direct storage. Now with direct storage, you can get faster load times and more detailed game worlds. The Microsoft store that you are to experience in Windows 10 will be in Windows 11. So that function is not going away. You're just going to have the same feature on both platform. The photo app. Something that you already use in Windows 10 will also be in Windows 11. In Windows 11, the updated photo app makes editing and viewing much faster. Seamlessly redocking. So in Windows 11, you'll be able to continue right where you left off when you plug or unplug from an external monitor, something you can't do in Windows 10 right now. Snap Assistant. Something that you can use in Windows 10 right now, you'll be able to use that same feature in Windows 11 when you decide to upgrade. Snap Assistant features layout and groups, helping you arrange and open windows into perfect grids. Touchscreen is a feature you can use in Windows 10 right now. Same function will be available in Windows 11. So the new gestures will make navigating with touch more intuitive. Upgrades will be included in Windows 11, just like you have been getting them in Windows 10. The updates in Windows 11 will be a faster reproduction in download size. And the last feature I want to mention is widgets. Widgets will be available in Windows 11, something that's not available in Windows 10 right now. So you'll have widgets for photo, news, to do's, weather, and many other widgets that will help you find your content that matters to you. So there you go. Those are the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. Some of the features that will be available on both platforms and some that's only going to be available on Windows 11. So hopefully those features will help you decide if you want to make the switch now or you want to wait till much later. All right. So if this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.